It is the women's sevens team took silver at the Olympics. The women's football team are getting, we're getting some very welcome news indeed. The skipper, Abby Ursig, who'd been suspended after receiving a red card in their victory over Colombia, had her red card and therefore her suspension overturned. Abby Ursig is a veteran of well over 100 games for New Zealand. She's also a New York-based professional playing in the US National Women's Soccer League. She's a fine player. And as the football fence coach, Tony Reddings, told me with a must-win game against France ahead of them, she is really welcome back. Yeah, she she is, and I mean, you, it's hard to admit she's the most capped player. Um, he said she's got lots of experience, and she's a leader. So to replace that would have been difficult. I mean, we've got good players that would have stepped up, no doubt, and we already had plans in place for that. But it is hard to replace, and I think probably true testament to that will be the way that you know since she's been uh, red carded, and the assumption we've been working on is that she would be suspended because we was dealing with the worst case scenario and. She's been positive around the team, you know, pushing the team in training and all those things that you'd expect from a good leader she's done when it, I guess the easier thing would have been to, you know, gone in your shell a little bit and felt sorry for yourself, but she stepped up even more. So to get a boost like that uh, after training today was, was fantastic for not only her and the whole team celebrated because they knew it was the right thing and justice had prevailed. So, you know, everyone's really happy and it just makes us, like I said, a little bit more confident going into tomorrow to have the full strength squad available. Gosh, she's a class act, isn't she? Because given the quality of that decision, which truly was appalling, she would have had every right to feel aggrieved. But she has been absolutely participating and absolutely encouraging the team, has she? Yeah, she's been fantastic and really upbeat. I was um, yeah, surprised how upbeat she was. And yeah, upbeat, I think one of those things, though, is there's nothing she can do about it now. She knew it was a bad decision, um, but she knew that what the team needed was her to be upbeat, be her usual self, to lead in the way that she normally does because um, we, you know, we need to get results tomorrow. So she's just done and behaved in the way that's best for the team, and I think that's just true testament yeah, to yeah, what, a, yeah, what yeah. a person she is. So that's been, it's been great. Tony, can we talk about the game against France? Gosh, you're in a tough pool. You've got the world number ones, the US. You've already played them, and... You held them to a 2-0 defeat. We'll come and talk about that. But now your next game is the world number three, France, and you have to win. Yeah, so it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a big game. I mean, we came into this tournament and we knew it was a tough group when we drew it. And um, we could have looked at that two ways. We could have you know, said it's going to be a, a really big challenge and, and, uh, you know, and just let's look to get out of the group. But we want to go all the way to the final in this tournament. And... You know, should we prevail tomorrow, which we're hopeful of in, in the game, then we know that we won't have to see those teams, France and USA, again till the final. So we, we looked at it that way and said, you know, if we're really serious about just getting out of the group, then we would have you know, maybe not been happy with it. But then if we're really serious about going a long way in the tournament, it's not a bad group to be in. But we know it's going to be a massive challenge tomorrow, and France are good.